Good morning. Another beautiful day here in Citrus County. Bright sun, <laughs> clear skies, and not too cold. It's been kind of cold the last couple of days, but today's nice. It's probably around 70, 68, something around there. You know, I'm doing all this work with the trees and things, and I'm cutting it up, and that's a pain in the neck. And I've got a wood chipper. The problem is my wood chipper likes to kick stuff out as much as it likes to take it in, more so actually. And it's actually hurt my hands at times kicking stuff out as I'm feeding it. So I figure there's something wrong with the blades in there. So I gotta get in there, I gotta take this apart. I reached in there yesterday and felt around and they are just, I thought they might be in backwards, it was that bad. But I think they're just incredibly dull. And so they're just like hitting the branches with a hammer instead of a knife. So I gotta open that up. I'm not sure how involved that's gonna be, so. Something a little different today. <laughs> so, uh, I gotta get set up and stuff. But there, that's my intro. So, good morning. Okay, so we got it open now, and uh, as you can see, it had some standing water in it for a while, where I thought to put it under cover. And you see, these blades ain't exactly blades. They're choppers, but they ain't cutting. And that's the relevant point. They're kicking out as much as they're taking in. So I have to study this a bit and see what actually I can do to make this chop better. But pretty easy to get access to those blades, just a lot of bolts to take out. So I'm gonna do some examining now and see what to do. Okay, this is interesting. Now, you see there is an intake blade here and here for that shoot. That's for feeding limbs. And those got a pretty good edge on them. And then on this side, that's through the big shoot, which is the side that keeps kicking out. This is a blade. And that has got an edge on it, but, a little dull. We're gonna sharpen that up and we're gonna oil the hell out of these which have just got to be breakers. There's no real edge anywhere on this so these just got to be breakers. So this is where your cutting is happening and maybe just sharpening that up will help. I'm not sure if we want to take that off or not. I just sharpen it in place. It's a little intense. Looks like if I undo this the whole plate comes off. And these I don't think I really need to touch. This side, oh, I can move it good. Okay, that side is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Whoa, baby. Ugh. Spins freely. Mm, that side's a little ratty. Hmm. Okay, you can get a better look at that edge, which is just dull as hell. Okay, I think we're going to have to, yeah, no, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I hit that uh, center bolt with some PB Blaster and everything else with some WD-40. I'm going to let that set for a while. PB Blaster can sometimes take a while to set in. Take a little break and then we'll come back and see how this is. At least these things are flipping nice now. Nice and easily. Even the rusty ones. I think that was crud more than rust. And see if I, if I can get that blade off, I'll take that into the shop and sharpen it up. Otherwise, I'll do it in place.
Okay, so that pretty much wraps up my blade sharpening or blade inspection and sharpening and doing what I could to up the game on that thing and we'll have to wait till I'm ready to go back at some branches to see if it's still kicking out. Probably someday this week I'll be out there chopping up branches. So we'll see soon enough. Happy day to you.